Et in generali ilia resurrectione in uvissimi diei tibi accepti in veniamo, et eam benedictionem consequamo. Quam dilectissimi filius tuus, tunc omnibus te diligentibus omnibus pronunciabus. It was a count's wish that he should be here for the will. Venite, benedicte filii patris mei, possidete paratum vopes regnum a constitutione mundi. Hec quesimus, Conceras pater misericors, et charitas dei, et communicatio sancti spiritus, sit cum omnibus nobis, in secula seculorum. Amen. Promise me work. Be off. Away with you. My wife and boys are starving. In God's name. You promised. You promised. Before we proceed to business, may I present Imre Tote, the son of your husband's late friend, General Tote. The Countess Elizabeth Nadojdi. Captain Doby, the steward of the castle. Master Fabio, the historian. And the Countess's companion, Julie. The one person not yet arrived is Ilona. The Countess's daughter. Her father sent for her when he knew he was dying, but alas, too late. Yes, yes, let's get on with it. Please. The last will and testament of Count Ferenc Nadojdi. 
To Captain Doby. I bequeath my arms and uniforms. <laughs> To Julius and Tesh, 1,000 coronas and food and lodging in my home for the rest of her days. To Master Fabio, my library. <laughs> to Imre Toth, son of my dearest friend and army companion, who fought gallantly with me and saved my life on more than one occasion, I bequeath my famous stable with all the horses and the cottage. To my beloved wife, Elizabeth, my fortunes and estates, to, to be divided equally with our only child, Elona. Well, we must respect his wishes. Countess, I must apologize for my late arrival. My horse lost a shoe. Well, now you have all the horseshoes you need. And the horses. For the rest of the days. Since we are new neighbors, doubtless we shall see much of each other. The honor will be mine. Half a kilo of tobacco yearly. Family, five foreign extra money monthly, and my cottage. Do you wish to see these famous stables? Indeed. Ah, come this way. It seems you've inherited a fine library. Oh, the best in the land. You cannot imagine my delight. This way. And you, my friend, you too, I feel, are a scholar. Oh, I don't know. I try to read as much as I can. What was she carrying? A pan of coals. The solace of widows and lonely fools. It makes cold beds hot. <laughs> <laughs> cold beds hot. <laughs> it makes cold beds hot. But there are worse places to live, and when Ilona returns... Has she been away long? Since she was six years old, they sent her to Vienna to escape the dreaded Turks. But I'm told that God has favoured her. She's a great beauty. Twenty years a steward of this castle, protector of his lady, and what do I get for it? Two suits of armour and a trunk full of old uniforms. Ha! What did you expect? You think he was a fool? You're quite right, of course. Who am I to complain when, in truth, he has left me the greatest prize of all? I did not realize I was bequeathed to you. Well, you're free now. To choose whom I please. You wish me to burn myself, wench? Quickly, hold water. Have I a rival, our new neighbor, perhaps? Countess, I've loved you for 20 years. I've waited patiently for this day. Please go. I wish to take my bath. Leave me. It's cooler now, madam. Cooler? Give me a peach. What are you trying to do? Turn my room into a pigsty? I had the bird. Oh, get out. Go. <laughs>
Doby! Julie! Some other amusement for yourself, excuse me. Julie. went up to the Countess's room last night, and that's the last I saw of her. Her bed isn't slept in. Oh, Captain, have you seen my daughter, Terry, the Countess's chambermaid? She's disappeared. I'm so worried. Uh, how should I know where she is? Try the whole house. She'd never do that. She's a pure girl. He'd know if she was in the whore house. <laughs> Me, Doby. Look at me. <laughs> and what will your daughter say? She arrives tomorrow, and she'll find you as young as she is. Will she? Satisfied. As you are with your library. <laughs> Come right with me. No, 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 no. The creatures terrify me. But I brought you a map for fear of losing oh, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and the Countess would deem it a pleasure if you would dine with us tonight. <laughs> you look so miserable, the fair alone arrived at dawn. I haven't seen her yet. 
She's been closeted with her mother. I'm persuaded. <laughs> we dine at seven. Bye. <laughs> How do I look? Do you think our new neighbor will find me irresistible? Oh, is there anyone who can resist you? Oh, Julie. We're in luck. The Countess is overcome with the reunion with her daughter and will take dinner in her room. Oh, good. And the daughter? Oh, she'll be down. Well, you two have met, I believe. My dear young lady, do you remember me? My dear Master Fabio. Have I changed so much? As a flower changes from bud to bloom, past recognition. Oh, this is my young friend, Imre Tote. My mother has spoken of you. I believe your father and mine were the closest of friends. Your mother, I hope she's not too unwell. Or merely fatigued. She wishes us to remove her from our minds and to enjoy ourselves this evening. Shall we eat, then? That is your mother's chair. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Can you remember any of your life here? Oh, yes, many things. One story in particular. <laughs> the day of my departure. I offer a I was... toast to the new arrival. Oh, it's a toast. In the wine so much loved by her dear father. Not only the taste, he used to say, but the color, the color of bull's blood. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <love. right. laughs> Pray continue with your delightful story. Oh, but I cannot remember. <laughs> the day of your departure. Oh, yes. I was swimming in the lake. And I spied a man on the bank cutting roses. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The finest full blooded bloom. <laughs> Who could it be? Huh? The gardener? Huh? No, he was too upright a fairy. <laughs> a thief. <laughs> he was just too far away from me to recognize him. <sighs> and modesty forbade me from leaving the water. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I saw the same room in my mother's bedroom. Uh, uh. I asked her who had given them to her. And she said, one of my secret lovers. Uh. <laughs> I was confused. What could she mean? She promised to tell me when I grew up. And tonight, before I came down to dinner, I had my answer. And the name of the man... Uh. It was Uncle Doby. <laughs> <laughs> but I have talked enough about myself. Help me rediscover my home. And tell me about your life and your plan and your family. Well, I, I really don't know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Doby. <laughs> grandfather. Mm. His weakness was women. He died in the arms of a kitchen maid. Mm. Then I salute you. It's the only way to die. <laughs> His wife. 
Hmm. No doubt a great beauty of her time. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, quietly past my mother's room. And this is your father. What a brave and generous man he was. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Does he look as you remember him? Oh, much the same. <laughs> Come with me. Come, quickly. with your mother or return to Vienna? I haven't decided yet. And you? Oh. I feel already this is my home. The first proper home of my life. But the war is not yet over and I may be recalled to duty. But until that happens, I shall stay. And if you leave, I swear to you, I shall take my horses. All of them? All of them and follow you. But I am unworthy of such a sacrifice. Let me be the judge of that. Oh, no. We have our reputations to think of. We've only just met. When can I see you again? Sunday. We'll ride together on Sunday. Two days. Impossible. Tomorrow, then. But late. When the others are asleep, you come to the small door below the tower, and I will put a candle in the window. That'll mean all is well. Oh, but now you must go. <laughs> How do you find our little mistress? Has she not exceeded your wildest dreams? In what way, Master Fabio? Well, in everywhere. A girl of barely 19 years, so mature, bearing, wit and manners. Indeed. No one thing puzzles me. <laughs> I always thought she resembled her father. Now she's the image of her mother. <laughs> Or don't you share my feelings? I think you grow old, Master Fabio. And your memory's confused. Then let that pass. One never quarrels with a nurse. <laughs> Unless one wants a box on the ears. <laughs> <laughs>
So today would never end. Say you love me. Say it. Yes. Yes, yes, I love you. Yes. <laughs> to see me young and happy again. So that you can make love to young officers, I'd rather have you as you are than see you parading yourself like some jaded young slut from the whorehouse. At least there's dignity in age. You are cruel. You have never loved me. Oh, yes, I've loved you. But can't you see what'll happen? You'll go insane? Or the bailiffs will take you and hang you. If that should happen, then don't forget, you'll be there next to me. Have you spoken to him? Yes, my dear. He was not offended. I told him you left because you heard your mother calling for you. And he hopes you'll go riding with him today as you arranged. Riding with him? But how can I? How can I go riding with him? Julie. You will find me someone and bring her here. Yes, Countess. But first, 
Tell me what news of the little one, our real daughter. I'm so anxious. She should be here by now. But didn't Captain Doby tell you? No. The Danube flooded where she would have crossed. Oh, my poor child. He's quite safe. Now, Julie, do as I ask. Countess? Will the Countess have her fortune told? Two days she's been gone, and no news of her. If you ask me, the Countess knows what's happened to her. Yes. Tell him how the old witch used to treat her. Tell him how she used to burn her and then hit her. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's right. She did. Quiet! You stupid, ignorant people! Show a bit of respect for the Countess! Why should we? For your food! And the warmth of this kitchen! And the guns of the soldiers that protect you from the Turks and the outlaws! You ungrateful lot! You're the envy of the village, you know that! So be satisfied and keep your mouths shut! I just want to see my Terry again. My little girl. I just want to see her again. Alive! She'll turn up. They always do. Probably hiding out in the forest somewhere. Anyway, how many other children have you got? Seven. Well, what are you worrying about? You won't know the difference. <laughs> oh. I see a new love in your life. He will lift away the black veil of your widowhood, and you will be young in your heart again. Thank you, my child. Forgive me for last night. Mm. <laughs> Julie explained everything. Mm. How's your mother? A little better. Mm. Still confined to her room. Yes. My father's death. My own homecoming. She'll be better. She'll be yes. very much better.
Nothing. I just can't get used to my good fortune, that's all. Two weeks ago, I was just another young soldier with my uni. And here I am, a man of some means, with the most beautiful woman at my side. I share your good fortune. But can you really love me? Of course I can. Why do you ask such a silly question? Because you're a young countess, and I'm only the son of a soldier. A very brave soldier. A general. True. But I cannot trade on his reputation. I have my own way to make. And by your standards, I have much to learn. Then let me teach you. with those two villains. I saw them not two hours ago, creeping to the forest with a heavy load. They're friends of Yonko, the gamekeeper. They take his provisions. That's what you saw, my friend. Oh. Uh, was it? Yes, well, he must have a big appetite. Oh, no, 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 no. It somewhat dulls my senses at this time of day. Oh, drink, Fabio. Drink to the Countess Alona. Well, if you insist, uh, the Countess Alona. Uh, while we're about it, what's happened to Countess Elizabeth? Is she going to stay in her room forever? She can't be very ill. She'd have called her the physician. And I can't believe that it's widowhood that detains her. What are you worrying about, Fabio? It's a better place without her, isn't it? Your mother. No. Huh? Leave her to me. Why? You fear she'll object? Oh, don't be silly. She adores you already. But she's old and needs to be humored. <laughs> <laughs> Do it quickly. Speak to her tomorrow. Insane. Don't you realize that you get uglier each time you get old? And you can't go on killing forever? Why not, with you and Julie to help me? Huh. And what about Fabio and the servants? Oh, you don't fear Fabio. He's not such a fool. We're quite safe. And I am happy. You don't begrudge me that. Where are you going? To meet your fiancé. We're signing the deeds of the inheritance, so I'll have the pleasure of his company tonight. Tell him that the Countess Elizabeth approves of the marriage and has made you responsible for the arrangements. 
To hell with the Countess Elizabeth! Shh! Don't be so angry. I haven't forgotten you. I promise. <sighs> no. Not now, Doby. When? Soon. Tonight? If you wish. I'll be here. Any of you seen her before? No, 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 no. Are there any gypsies round here? I've seen a few girls like her with a circus. In the marketplace last night. Go on. you. Not unless you've got a murderer hidden in there. Have you seen anyone with a gypsy girl going into the forest? Why do they stare at us? Fear. Fear? Fear of what? As a dog fears its master. <laughs> but a dog is also keen to serve its master. I fear we have no service. Boy, a flag of wine. Speed. <laughs> hey, another tank in here. Now the undisputed possessor of 34 horses and 59 mares. So, what will you do with them, eh? You make a gift of them to my good friend, the captain here? Or will you stay on in these parts? I have excellent reasons for staying on. The boy believes himself to be in love. Ah, may one ask with whom? It's no secret. The Countess Ilona. They are to be married. But has she returned? I'd no idea. My heartiest congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Captain. <coughs> yes, Sergeant, what is it? It's the gypsy girl, sir. What? From the circus. We've got her outside. She's in a horrible state, sir. Blood's all gone. What are you talking about? Drained out of her, sir. She's as white as chalk. The villagers, they're getting frightened. Ah, these are my little dumplings. <laughs> you know, the Captain. I've made his acquaintance. Yes. Yeah. But one acquaintance you haven't made is Lieutenant Tote, a young man who stands but an inch away from marriage to a lady of noble birth. They'll make a fine pair. But not as fine a pair as these, eh? <laughs> the lady has a sizzling wit.
Excuse me, gentlemen. My watchdog calls. I shall return. What? What Come on, then. Take me to this bloodless court of yours. Oh, babouche! <laughs> Position and authority. Why have you never got married, huh? Don't you believe in this? It fits some people. I think you should be married. To the Countess Elizabeth. She's free? Well seasoned. We shall have a double wedding. Will you drink to that? Why should a man be a slave to one woman when he can have the pick of any? Oh, but if that woman embodies all the virtue. Mistress, friend, and mother in one, does such a woman exist? You know she does. And I have found her. Oh, then you are blessed indeed. Mm. But also vulnerable. How so? Of being so dazzled by the light of your love that you cannot see a man steal upon you in the dark. Uh, will you buy some beans? Mm. Uh, or a Turkish dagger to protect you from your enemies. Why should I have enemies? All men have enemies, but uh, blessed men more, since they are envied. Away, fool! This is Turkish talk. Ziza! Me, Captain. Our young friend is much taken with you. No, 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 she's for really? you, my friend. Oh, come on, my friend. Enjoy her while you can. What's the matter? Thinking of your lady, love. <laughs> Time. He's Will beautiful. You? That he can't get you into the castle unseen. The castle? You win the bet. I'm not going there. Why not? Haven't you heard what they're saying about the Countess? No. She's a witch. A witch? All the Bartleys are witches. Sold their souls to the devil. Their ancestor ah. was a seven headed dragon. No, Zizza. And the worst of them all is the Countess Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty coronas have become with us. Fifty? And my protection from the witch. Promise. Promise. Oh, well. I was never one to listen to gossip. Come on. Come on, where? We're going. Come where on. are we going? Just a minute, <laughs> my <man>. Come on. <laughs>
my little one. <laughs> Come on, darling. Gallant Captain, I mistook you for a ghost. And I mistook you for a villain and damn near cut your throat. Oh, what's your business? Uh, well, uh, I, I found a most intriguing map that marks doors and passages that I never knew existed. <laughs> I've been tracing them. At this hour? My mind is most alert at night, while people sleep. Well, do as you please, but keep to the library. Don't go prowling. You might frighten somebody. Or end up a ghost myself. cheated me. You knew this would happen and you've made a fool of me. No, I promise. What do you want? That we should make love? Now, as you are? Like two old fools fumbling at each other? Don't be cruel. Help me. Why should I help you, huh? You don't want me. It's him. Imre. It's him you're thinking about, and how you'll look for him tomorrow. But you still need me, don't you? As a whore needs a panda. But there's just one customer who doesn't want you, young or old, your little lover. I'll show you. Come and watch him no. in his satisfaction no. with a real young woman. No. Now, lying on my bed, coupling with the cheapest whore in town. No, I don't want to see Come. that. Come! Come and see your young lover, Imre. <laughs> What's your game, eh? Pushing me onto a little bastard who doesn't want me? What's the matter? Can't he do it? You ought to give him a few lessons. A whole night. Shut up and stay in there. <laughs> you arranged it. No, I didn't. Be quiet. You brought that slut in here. Good. How very thoughtful of you. Imri doesn't need her. <laughs> I do. Bring her to me. Now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my money then? Where is it? It's not my fault that I'm asleep. I want my fifty coronas. Did you hear me? I want my money. A hundred? For a better client. You had no fun here. Well, you should now. It's not a man, it's a woman. She may ask some special favors. For a hundred? I'd take on a whole Turkish harem. <laughs>
we look at me. I did the same as before, and it didn't work. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't wait, work wait. anymore. Wait, wait. The book. What book? Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> if you kill me, your mistress will never know the truth. Leave him. Don't trust him. Trust me and I'll help you choose, Countess. Let him speak. The chapter on blood sacrifices. Yes, yes, I've read it. But not far enough, Captain, or you wouldn't have made such a simple mistake. It states quite clearly, for the restoration of youth and beauty, only the blood of a virgin may be used. She was a common whore. Well, well. You fool. Thank you, Master Fabio, for your scholarship on the matter. You shall not go unrewarded. Countess, uh, if I can assist at any time, you know, I find the whole subject most enthralling. Thank you. Toby, tomorrow you will make good your mistake. A virgin, remember. You're mad to trust him. Why? Let him live in fear for his life. That way he will never betray us. Countess, I'm sorry to disturb you. I was looking for your daughter. She went out early to gather some flowers. Thank you. Oh, please stay. We have much to talk about, I think. Yes, indeed. I, um, I wanted to speak to you before, but Ilona told me of your illness. I'm very happy to see you better. I'm better today, but I am not well. 
the shock of the past few days, you understand? Of course. Ilona will have told you... That you are in love and wish to be married. I sincerely hope that you approve. It was always my late husband's wish that you, the son of his dearest friend, should one day meet our daughter. Alas, he did not live to see it. However, you made his widow very happy. I promise you, Countess, I shall honor and cherish Ilona for the rest of my days. Come to me. My son. Urgently. Have you seen the Countess Ilona today? No, I was just going to look for her. Don't be disappointed if you can't find her. What? I can't talk now. Fabi! Meet me tonight uh, after supper. Fabio? Fabio. Oh, my. 
man, brilliant scholar, seeker of wisdom. He read all those books, knew everything, but now he knows nothing. You killed him. You killed him because he knew something about you and the Countess. He was going to tell me, but you stopped him. Now, listen to me, you young whelp. You came here, you took her stables, all right, keep them. But the Countess is mine, do you understand? I've waited for 20 years. Take her, then. I don't want her. It's Ilona I love. Ilona? Yes. Where is she? You want to see her, huh? You want to see your bride? Yes! So you shall. In all her glory. Ha! <laughs> Come with me! Is your mother? The Countess Elizabeth, where is she? In my, in the, the, what flood? Where is she? Forget her. Huh? Forget her. Where? You've killed her. No. 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 I am Elizabeth. Look at me. My face, my body, hold me. No. Blood. Whose blood? No matter. I did it for you, my darling. To please you. I am Ilona. Don't touch me. <laughs> you tried to be unfaithful to me last night, and you couldn't even do that. Last night. You brought that whore in here. You think I didn't know? You think Dobie didn't tell me? He's lying. Oh, is he? Her. And there are witnesses. Toby? As many as I choose. My darling. You can't escape now. My son. Has the Countess been told? She took it badly. Master Fabio was much loved by us all. Why did he do it? The Count's death. They were very old friends. But of course, there is another possibility. Fortune card? You mean the gypsy girl? I found them in the drawer of his desk. So you think he killed her and then 
hanged himself from remorse or guilt. See. What were his habits with women? Did he ever confide in you? No, none of my business. But I never saw him at the Shepherd's Inn, did you? No, maybe better if we had. At least it's healthy. Of course, he could have stumbled upon the real killer who then silenced him. Uh, too fanciful. Yeah. Well, anyway, my men are searching the castle now, so we, we should learn something. Stay here. There's a curse on this place. You come back. And you brat. Nobody leaves without my permission. Understood? Where is she? Have you found her? Have you found my little one? Stop worrying. There's nothing to connect your daughter and a gypsy girl. Sergeant! Sergeant! Here! What? Where? Sergeant! Here! must have problems if you need these villains for servants. No, we can't pick and choose the ward of the best. Sergeant, take these men to the county house for questioning. <laughs> and these two. The rest can stay. Now, I want all the women, young and old, to leave the castle within the hour. All right, all right, don't panic yourself. You will be allowed to return as soon as the matter is settled. Now, come on, move yourself. Come along, will you please move? Go on, start back. Are you? Excuse me, Captain Ballard. You mean to include my mother and me? Oh, no, 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 Countess, please forgive me. I I'm sure you'll be perfectly safe with Captain Dovey and your fiancé, but they couldn't be responsible for everyone, and it is just possible the killer may still be in hiding somewhere. Stay close to her. Check. <laughs> oh, come on, what are you so gloomy about? Don't you see what'll happen? She'll grow old, starved of a little virgin girls, and she'll be mine. And you can clear out. That's what you want, isn't it? The Countess wants to see you. Which one of us? You, Captain. <laughs> You knew about it from the beginning. How could you say nothing? I wanted to see her happy. I brought her little one into the world. Ilona? The real Ilona? Oh, she was so beautiful. I used to tell her stories, sing her to sleep. But they had to send her away. Why didn't she come back? They said she was on the way. It was the flood that stopped her. Listen, Julie. You know as well as I, Captain Bullock won't find the murderer. That means we're imprisoned here. Trapped. Forever. But I'm not imprisoned. This is my home. Oh, what please. do you want of me? 
shan't go to sleep tonight, thinking that it might happen again any time. Couldn't we have someone ready at the castle? How can I get anyone in with the bailiffs at the gate? Oh, but you can outwit them. You can do anything, anything. <laughs> Very well. Dopey, you will bring someone here tonight? She'll be ready when you need her. to bring me a girl from the village. But I fear he may have tricked me. He's jealous of my beauty and my love for Imre. What do you want me to do? Search the castle, every room. And if you find her, don't disturb her. Just to put my mind at rest. Go now, hurry. The Countess is anxious. She's here. The girl's ready. Good night, Julie. Nanny? Is it you, Nanny? It's an ill omen that we should see each other on the morning of our wedding day. <laughs> but I'm not superstitious. Are you, my darling? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Dobie, I've decided to overrule Captain Barlock's orders just for today. I want everyone to share my happiness and attend the ceremony. Hmm? All the women servants and the tradespeople 
and even our friendly bailiffs, and drinks for everyone. Will you make the arrangements, please? And your mother, will she be attending? Uh, sadly, no. She is really quite ill today. I am most concerned. Julie, will you, when you're finished, help me with my wedding dress, please? Mm. <laughs> Master Rimri? Master Rimri? Will you please come with me? There's someone you have to meet. Please. Hurry. <laughs> Be afraid, my love. This is Imre Toad. He's visiting us. Master Imre. Master Imre. This is Countess Ilona. Your name is familiar to me. My father was General Toad. Of course. My father spoke of him in letters. He also spoke of you. Yes, I believe it was his wish that we should one day meet. Julie! Oh, Master Imre, we must go. Who is it? Come, quickly. We'll come back. Water for the Countess. She must escape. Wait. You must lead her away during the ceremony. No one will notice your absence. Take her to the stables. You will need to stay. I cannot. But, Master... You I... know I cannot. God knows I wish it, but I have witnessed so much blood, my very being reeks of it. But you are innocent as she is. You must go together. Together? Julie, I'm waiting. Take her. And raise false hopes to break them. No. It's unthinkable. You must save her. Go on now, quickly, before we are discovered. Oh, please tell me what's happening. Foolish Nanny says I should be patient. How can I be? She tells me nothing. Countess Yolona. She is so stubborn, she makes me quite angry. Your life is in grave danger. From whom? I cannot tell you, but please trust me. You must leave at once. Leave my home? But I want to see my father's grave. And my mother. I must speak with her. I'm afraid that is not possible. Why? Tell me. Please, I beg you, do not argue with me. In a short while, Julie will take you to the stable. Now, do not speak to anyone. But I will say I am the Countess Ilona. You will not be believed. Take a horse and ride with haste to the county house. Wait there for Captain Ballon. When he comes, tell him of your misfortunes. Will you not come with me? I fear to go alone. You must not fear. Please come with me. I'll meet you at the stables. You will not fail me. No. I must go. Do everything that Julie tells you.
Dilectissimi, convenibus hoc coram Deo, et in facie populi hic congregati, ad coniungendum hunc virum, et hanc mulierum in sancro matrimonio. Quod quidem honestis est vitae status, a Deo in tempore innocentiae hominis. What's happening? It's no concern of yours, my love. We must hurry. No, leave me. I want to know. I must know. O canulo te uxorem duco. O canulo te uxorem duco. Corpore meo te honoro. Corpore meo te honoro. Et omnibus bonis meis temporalibus te doto. Omnibus bonis meis temporalibus te doto. In nomine patris. In nomine patris. Et fili. Et fili. Et spiritus sancti. Spiritus sanctus. Amen. Amen. Deus pater, Deus filius, Deus spiritus sanctus. Vos benedicat. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 